Hello my planner pals and welcome back and if you're new here then thank you for joining me and giving me a try. My name is Di, I am here at Creative Karma Design and oh, trying to hold the camera steady here. We've got a spread, <laughs> it's just my printer having a fit. So we've got a spread today for my monthly. So we've got a spread today for my monthly in my business planner. I'm trying to get this done because I want to start planning my quarter three goals and kind of working backwards, if that makes sense. This month I have on my pre-planning as Stitch. If you have not watched my pre-planning video, I will link it here in the cards and hopefully in the description down below if I remember. So that's what we've got on the cards for today. And I'm thinking... I looked through all of my stitch stickers and these are the ones from Amazon. If you have not seen these, I did a little unboxing of these and why I chose to buy these rather than the Happy Planner Aloha stitch box. I will link again that here and down in the description. But I bought these off Amazon. You got 50 stickers for $5. I've already done one spread with them on my vertical, but I thought, why not do a monthly? And I'm feeling this where he's kind of bursting out of the page and I'm thinking that would be the perfect place up there and because it is July and it's summer and today it is in the 90s already that I don't know I think that's like 32 Celsius I don't know what that is Celsius but what I did was I went on Canva and I printed out these and I've done them on sticker paper because I wanted to have, because we have this big space here, I wanted to just have some kind of fun florals popping up here. I know I'm doing florals, but I don't mind when they're nice and bright and colorful like this. I love these hibiscus flowers because it's Stitch, Hawaii, hibiscus, the end, right? And so I did the hibiscus. I did some boxes to kind of match the colors in the hibiscus. And I just filled out the rest with little stickers that I can use either on this spread or in my dashboard for my regular business planner. So I'm going to go cut these out and then I'll be right back. All right, we're back. And I've cut out the big boxes. I've left the little ones on a little strip. I've left the words on a strip because I don't know about you, but I would rather track one big thing rather than all the little tiny words. So that goes off to one side. And I just cut around these very loosely, very kind of sloppily. Doesn't matter. All right. So I think one of these is going to go down the side. And then the other one kind of here. And then he's going to go there. My thing is now, do I want to put that hanging down? Or do I want to have it the other way? I kind of feel like I want it that way. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I don't know if I want it that way or that way. Oh, decisions, decision time. So the other thing that I did find was I wanted a quote and I looked in Colourful Florals, which has some nice kind of matching things in this. It has the same golden yellow. It has the same pink. And we have this Bloom in Your Own Time, which I kind of liked. And I thought might accent that well if I put that there. If I shove that along a bit. See, now I'm not sure about stitch, but I think he needs to go on there as a fun accent because I need fun in my pages. <laughs> I need fun in my pages. And maybe we'll bring in some of the little blue things from in here because it has some of the matching blue things. Yeah, so I might bring in a couple of little blue accents so that he's not all alone on his own up there. All right, so let's um, let's get some of this stuck down. I'm going to put this one here. And I'm just trying to figure out whether I want that in the corner. Because I am going to put a box on here. So the white space won't matter so much. I'm not even de-sticking it. I'm just going for it, guys. I'm going for it. I know. Who am I? Oh, what I will do is just wipe that a little bit out. Oh, I won't need to because he's going over there. Never mind. I might 
I feel like doing it anyway. I feel like for my own, oh, something fell on there. For my own sanity, I need to add that there. Okay. And then we'll press that down. I love it already. Um, and then we'll just cut the excess off there. I've got a little bit of, I did not cut a very straight line apparently. <laughs> Go figure. Did not cut a straight line. I can't put a sticker down straight, so why would I cut a straight line? And because I want this to line up with the um, the the line on here, I guess one of them should be straight. So I'm going to bring out my paper trimmer. I don't need to stand up because I can't see anything. Just to make sure that I've got at least one straight line. Everything is falling over. Okay, so we're going to put him here, bursting into July. So now the question, oh, that's not it. Now the question is, do I want that there? And what color boxes do I want down here? Maybe that's a website. Oh, that's covering that though. Do I want that? I mean, I'm going to have to. I need to put it down there. I need at least one, so maybe we'll just put one in. I kind of don't like that space, but we might be able to fill it with something. Not sure what yet, but something. That's going there. And then let's put that in there. Oh, it's gonna put that quote in there. What am I doing? Yeah, and that's going there. Do I want to put that all the way across or do I want to cut it there? I think I want to cut it there. Okay, in which case, let's make a little snippet thing. Ruler. Because I have a line here. Let's actually use the line, shall we? Okay. I think I'm doing it that way. I'm still not sure. So if I put it that way, I'm going to see that. And then that will go there. I don't like that as much as the other way. Okay. So that's going down the other way. So when you're thinking about stickers, I want you to think about any theme that you want, any florals or anything like that. You can usually find them. On Canva. Canva is a great resource for stickers. If you're happy using sticker paper, you can use sticker paper in your printer, but you don't have to. You can just print these on regular old printer paper, cut them out, and you've got the same kind of effect. Okay, I think I want to put that there. And then we'll maybe put that over there somewhere. Yeah, I think so. That one was going there. It's just then it left that gap. So I could fill that in with a little bit of that. Yeah, okay. So that's going there. And you'll notice, even though I have a Cricut, I did not use my Cricut for this because I wanted to show you that you can still use sticker paper and Canva and printables even if you do not have a Cricut. They are not cricket only things, you know? You've got a pair of scissors. Um, I, I hope you have a pair of scissors. Give me six hours to find the edge of a sticker paper. It's one of the reasons why I actually like using my cricket <laughs> because you don't have to fight with the stickers. You can just peel them up from the back end quite easily. Can you see how that just adds a lovely pop of color? To a page and these were just canva printables guys they're not expensive <laughs> I don't wanna, let's check to see if these are the free ones all right i just want to check no these are the pro ones so these are one of the ones for the subscription but i'll tell you this for ten dollars a month 
highly recommend. So worth it. So worth it. I think I might cut in that up and putting that in there. Just so it's got a little bit of colour in that bit. So I want you to let me know in the comments if you're the kind of planner that is open to cutting up their own stickers and printing out and then just cutting them up. Because this is the kind of thing that I love to do. As much as it's fun having the Happy Planner stuff and the, the sticker books, it's also fun when you can't find something that is exactly as you want it or in my case, what I often find is I just want these. I just want these, but I don't want to spend my money on the whole book just to get the hibiscus flowers because I, I love hibiscus. I love hibiscus. I love me some Hawaii flowers. That's what I like to call them. Okay. I'm just debating whether I want to cut him out. I think I do. Okay. I'll be back in a second. All right, we are done. So I used a craft knife to go around the fingers and that kind of area. But what I'm going to do is take this off very carefully because now he's a little bit delicate. So you can see I've cut around him there. I'm going to de-stick him a little bit in case I need to reposition him at any point. I've just torn one of his fingers off. Of course I have. Just torn one of his fingers off. So his finger's going to have to get reattached. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what you come here for other than to see me, like, brutally tear apart stickers. Okay. And then I'm just going to reattach. I'm going to get my tweezers and try and reattach his finger. I mean, it's super tiny. You can't even... I can't even get that to focus, it's super tiny. But we know that his finger, he's supposed to be on his hand. <laughs> so there's that, okay. So I mean, it looks like he's got a little bit of an amputated finger, but we're gonna go for it, it's fine. I'm thinking this here and this here, that might go across the page. I'm fine with that, yeah. So that that where it goes there, which I like it better here because then it's away from that pink as much. Let's de-stick it just in case. Although it's not going to take much to de-stick right now because it is boiling. You can probably hear my air, air conditioning has come on. I'm going to wipe that line out and then put that over there. Okay, where's my lid? And then because we're in the punches there, I'm going to have to get my proper dial out. Okay, so that is that. I'm going to put this one here. Let's go in there. I think I might put in one here. I'm not sure. I think yellow. Okay, let's get my scissors. Still covered in sticker from other things. I think yellow for there, don't you? Rather than green. I don't want pink because pink's for something else. We're going for yellow. Regretting my cricket choice now. <laughs> I should have just used the cricket, it would have been so much easier. Okay. I think we're just going to put that down there in the corner. Do I want to put it there? Or do I want to put it further up? Further up or further down? Let's go in there. I kind of don't like it on the same line as that, but we're going to deal with that. It's fine. It has to be functional. 
All right, let's have a look in this book and see if I want to add any little accents or anything. Because um, I did say that I was going to. I don't want the gold, really. I'm thinking that because, oh, it's not even the same colour. It's not even the same colour dye. That's the same colour. Why is that a different colour? Isn't it? Will it be far enough away that it, you won't really notice? I don't think you'd really notice if it was that far away. Where the heck was it gone? Where the heck did it go? I enjoy today. Mm, I like them, but no. Oh, I like that one though. Oh, but it's got the flower on it. I could cut the flower off, maybe. I try my best. I like that. I still don't think it's the right colour. Mm, might be putting those back and finding something else. Or just not having anything. Oh, I'm like, oh. Mm. Why are they not the same? Okay, I need to find where I got this from. All right, let me go see if I can find some blue to match this. I'll be right back. All right, I've got two options. I got out the Year to Shine, which has a dark blue, and the Teacher Book, which has a dark blue. I can either just use flags or I can use some of these kind of header type things. Yeah, I think I'm just interested in using a couple of little things like this. Um, and I'm thinking this one. I got this one out just to kind of color match because these are a good color match. And I have got a ton of them, but I also have a ton of these. So there's that. I feel like they kind of go more as just little headers. All right, let's put him back. So I was going to do these. I was going to do three little things. Goal, don't forget, important reminder. I think goal was going to go down here. Does that make sense for the end of the month? And then I would want... couple of little bits, maybe one up here. My feeling is here purely because I'm changing my upload schedule on my main channel that, that day, that week, month, month. Wow. So that makes kind of sense for there. Do I want to bring in the other colour as well? I feel like I might. In which case, is it that one? Or that one? And just to... Kind of hard to tell. I think the darker one. The darker one. I don't have an important in that colour. Is it the only page of these? Yes, of course it is. Might be changing that one. Okay, now I need something on that line, that line, and that line. And that line. That might be it. That might be it. I'm just going to cut one of these just in case I do want to put it on. I actually think that's better. One, two, three, four, five. We're good. That just brings in a little pop of blue so that he's not on his own. All right, that is done. Let's put that back in my planner. I cannot tell you how happy that makes me to actually get a spread done and be able to plan for the month of July because I don't do well when I'm not kind of planning and ahead. I love it. I love it. It's kind of minimal and but you know it's it's a monthly spread. I'll be right back. All right I don't think I was recording then. <laughs> Bummer. Um, I just added in the little headers here and I'm going to add in four, hang on, one, two, three, four, five 
um, check boxes here for my website uploads. I decided for the month of July, I'm only uploading once a week to my website and to my yoga channel because I want to take some time off and actually redo my office. And then I'm just gonna come in for Patreon. And I'm just gonna put a thing in for Patreon there and I'm gonna put nothing in it because I'm planning on maybe taking the month off. Maybe, maybe. All right, what color do I want to put in for this, for these check boxes? Mm, I think black or green or green. All right, let me go find a green pen. And I'm just going to put a little check box underneath the date. I mean, it barely looks like it's green. And then when my posts are scheduled and all done and completed, I just check them off. It's the silliest little thing, but... And I might check them off in pink or green or blue. I mean, it doesn't even look green. Oh, that one was terrible. I'm going to have to go over that one again. Give it an actual square edge and slow down because it's not a race. All right, has everybody got a box? Yes. And now we are done. Now we are done and I love it. I love it. Let me know what you think in the comments. Like literally one stitch sticker, printables, and then a couple of little stickers from the Happy Planner sticker books. Boom, spread. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, then give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you next time, my planner pals. Bye.